it's time for Is it worth it? Let me work it. I put my thing down, flip it and reverse it. This one's cool. I'm an Atu. I, I do want to talk about the commander so, and uh but when she's in play, every enchantment spell that's in your hand has miracle uh, for four less. And so Oh yeah, yeah. That is pretty sweet. So basically if you draw an enchantment and she's in play you get to cast the enchantment for four less, which seems bonkers. Seems so mir this is a miracle deck. I, I love miracle. Um, it's great. Do you know the, but, the value of this deck? Um, you can buy it on CK for 45. The value's at 69.50 from what you get in the deck. Well, yeah, you no. got ink, yeah. ink shield and uh, extravagant replication are the $10 or more, which is just 23. But um, extravagant replication has been going up over the last like six months, from what I've noticed. I don't see that holding. Uh, but Ink Shield probably will stick above, I, you know, eight ish. I'd yeah, say. yeah, because I, I, it did just get the reprint with the Sheldon Secret Layer, and yep. I did notice the prices have tanked because I was trying to move. Did it go down a little yeah, bit a from little that? Bit, yeah, a little bit okay. from that. So, um, yeah, I think your assessment is good on the the eight dollar mark. But then you got like Undo Spirit Dancer, Athreal Shroud, or Shroud Veil. That's not a good card. I don't think that's going to stay at five. But you got Ponder, Arcane Denial, Mirror Maid, Monologue Tax, which is a good, solid yeah. reprint. Timely Ward, Sphere of Safety, Shark Typhoon, One with the Multiverse, which is a cool reprint. Hall of Heliods, Generosity, and Underground River. So a list of cheaper cards right there. I mean, your biggest ones are going to be Hall of Heliods, uh, generosity, one with the multiverse, and Andu Spirit Dancer, beyond so, the top two. Um, there, and they've been doing a lot of. They, this is like the third enchantment deck in a little over a year, because you had a Nyctia, which was a big one with Commander Masters. Is that oh, Commander Masters? Yeah. Last and one. then you have this one for sure. And then I want to say there was one in the middle, like back during, um, Eldrain. Right. But I'm not 100% on that. But um, I think the deck is really cool. I like the miracle mechanic. Yeah, that seems pretty sweet. Let's go to the new three cards. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Th yeah, these I like these. <laughs> so right. first one, Soaring Lightbringer. Probably one of my favorite. Like, this one makes decks. But four colorless white, four five flyer, bird, glimmer. Uh, it is an enchantment creature. Other enchantment creatures you control have flying, and whenever you attack a player, create a 1-1 white glimmer enchantment creature token that's tapped on attacking that player. So if you attack three players, you get three, three. of those tokens. They're enchantments. Uh, they all have so flying. So they're going to trigger any of that, you know, that kind of stuff. This this card's really good. And with that, with Amanatu's ability, this potentially could be one. <laughs> like, Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so... But I, yeah, I think that fits in a ton. It's a very nice, aggressive card for your enchantment decks, like a nice way to close things out. Mm -hmm. uh, next one, Fear of Sleep Paralysis. Five mana and a blue for a 6-6 six, six Nightmare enchantment creature. Has flying. Uh, whenever this card or another enchantment you control enters and whenever you fully unlock a room, which is a new mechanic in the set, mm. tap up to one target creature and put a stun counter on it stun counters can't be removed from permanence your opponent's that's control that's crazy yeah that, that's crazy because this isn't just dealing with the rooms like it's saying whenever uh this or another enchantment you control enters you're basically permanently locking their shit down until this leaves like right and even if right. even if uh this leaves it's still stunned for another turn like they have to remove the counter before they can untap it. So even when this gets out, like whatever, gets spot removal, mass removal, they're still tapped down for at least one more turn. So yeah, this is right. that's nuts. This like is a 6-6 six, six flying for six yeah. that will lock down your opponent's board as long as you got enough enchantments rolling. Yeah. And then and then it just kind of tags in the the rooms if you like if it even matters. Yeah. Like um, but I I love it. Uh -huh. This is a great great card i might uh, and i might next, even throw what? it in uh tom bombadil even though it's oh, sagas but that's all absolutely. enchantment so it's like 
hey, I got a way to lock down somebody. You know, I, I think this one's going to be fun. Right. If the, if you have a blue enchantment deck, I think this goes in it. Yeah. Like even just it being the 6-6 six, six flying for six that ETBs and permanently taps the biggest creature on the board or like the most ridiculous like mana accelerant or whatever. Like this is a great card. Yeah, I love it. All right. What's your last card there? <laughs> Uh, that's going to be Ancient Cellar Spawn. One and two black for a 3-3 three, three horror enchantment creature. Each spell you cast that's a demon, horror, or nightmare costs one less to cast. And whenever you cast a spell, if the amount of mana spent to cast it was less than its mana value, target opponent loses life equal to the difference. I wish this was a legendary because in multicolor, they oh. free spell deck. Just... Oh, <laughs> Oh, you just no. That's great. Yeah. I I love this. Yeah. This is gonna again. This is a great card in Rowan because it reduces the cost of oh, spells. Yeah. But so like, it, it's suck just... it, Will. That's oh I yeah, I was say. gonna say <laughs> I can't use it for Will. Damn it. <laughs> but yeah, if you're doing cost reduction spells, so like Ursa's Incubator, the you know, there, there's a lot of cards that do a really good job of lowering the cast of spells, like. Well, Your free spells, I think, work. Well, any Whenever of the... you cast a spell. Yeah, that's yeah. I said. Free spell. Yeah. Any. Yeah. Like... So, like, Force of Will is yeah. five damage to somebody. Right. Like, shit. Well, you can play that's... any of the medallions would work with this. You know, you're at least it's reducing by one, reducing yep. by yep. one. I, yeah. I wonder if Evoke works for this as well. This feels like the conversation I was having with Alex about the Lord of Pain. Like, because reducing the spells there just allow you to deal more damage. And yeah, so evoke so, works with that. And so whenever you cast a spell, you're casting less than it for the evoke spot. Mana value is the mana. The, the CMC is what's at the top right. So yeah, you could deal damage with your evoke spells. Like Mall Drifter. Okay, this card might be really good in the Lord of Pain. Like this is this is going to be a really good card there, I think, yeah, if you build that I way. But this card's lot. really cool. Uh, all right. Okay. So we have those new cards, which actually would, out of those three, which one's your favorite which one would you like the best out of this? I, I I really like all three of them. Personally, I I guess I'm gonna have to go with Soaring Lightbringer because I think this is th that's going to go into my Anicthia deck, mm -hmm. and that definitely works. And I know that it's there. The other two, I don't know where they're. Well, I guess Ancient Cell Cellar Spawns going into Rowan. I don't know where Fear of Sleep Paralysis is gonna go, but so I like Soaring. I like the most just because it fits in my Tom Bombadil. I'm like, yeah, got oh, it. Yeah. yeah. yeah so. And so that, that, that shows you like, if you have a deck for something new, like you have an affinity for that card mm. for a bit. You're like, I know where to use that. Yep. Exactly. Ah! <laughs> so. All right. So we have a value. What was the value or not value? The uh, values 69 bucks. And what we'll was, uh, what it was it cost to get? Uh, forty five dollars. Forty five. So and so you got roughly a fifteen dollar difference. Is that fifteen? Forty five, fifty five, sixty five, twenty five dollar difference. Um, we definitely could say like a lot of these. I don't. A lot of that values in the under five dollar mark. Yeah. I don't think it's necessarily going to move, but less and less people are going to want them as well. Are you gonna Are you gonna say a deck is worth it in this at all? Is is close. <laughs> um. I know I'm supposed this to be yours. This I know call, I'm supposed though. to be this the one yours. that you want to you want to see what I'm doing. Uh, um, God. is it worth it? Like the new cards are super cool. They are. The value is. I don't think the value there. of these are gonna go up. I think they're I can very. Agree with that. I think they're very niche of what they're doing. Um, I don't want to be so negative with everything. I I think I'm going singles, so I don't. The price is I, wrong. I think I'm going singles. Maybe that's what I should change it. Instead of the price is wrong, I should we should make a button that just like all the single ladies or something single. Yeah, doing the, the Beyonce. Yeah. Because I think that's yeah, I, that. I like the cards in it, but I'm gonna pick these singles up because they're gonna be dirt cheap, you know. And then I already have the cards that are, you know, the expensive right. stuff. So right. I I personally might get this oh. i'm still gonna say the price is wrong oh you price, price is wrong, wrong. but this, this is as close as it's gonna get i think it's so this you're, is you're on like, that almost, you're almost worth it it's almost right worth it. i like a lot of the, the cards the new ones and, and this that's where it is right there i like a lot of the new ones 
I don't need any of the reprints. Um, and there's tons that are under like that value threshold of like, in my mind, like $4 is a good mark. And I think, you know, you're mentioning that too. So like, if you got a $2, like ponder at $2, like, okay, I could get ponder. I can get that for like, get rid of that for like a buck 52, but it's going to become less and less. And eventually you're going to get stuck with a ton of them. Yeah. And, and when, when we say, oops, going the wrong way. No, am I going the wrong way? There we go. When we uh -huh. say get rid of it, we're mainly saying buy list. So we're sending into card kingdom yeah. or wherever, like you don't sell ponders. <laughs> you're not making no, anything yeah. out of that. No. You maybe trade uh, it to, is, to is, the Can you trade it? Here, can you buy list, buy list it? it? So yeah. that's, that's kind of what we're saying when we talk about that. Uh, so, okay. Uh, all right, everybody. Uh, we want to hear which decks you guys want to build. When we say they aren't worth it, doesn't mean the value isn't there. They all show that they have a value over what the cost is for the decks. Uh, the $70 and, one's kind of pushing it a little bit, but yeah. Uh, and always again, if it's something that you really like, the only one I would say is avoid is the red black one, just because it's, it's, so an expensive. Over, it's overpriced at this right. point. Maybe hope to save about 20 bucks, which is a legitimate amount. Yeah. Like, but everything else, if you like it, buy it. Right. So, uh, but yeah, I'd like to hear which, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll put a poll up this week, uh, seeing which one people are most excited for. So get ready to vote for that on the community tab on YouTube. Hey, Meat Force, could you kindly tap the like and subscribe button? And if you're ever in the mood, head on over to commandersmiths.com and you can get the shirts and mugs you see on the screen and some other stuff. Thank you.